The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Charlotte Hall Museum. The Charlotte Hall Museum is one of the premier museums in Arizona. And we're two blocks west of Courthouse Plaza, historic right. area. And this is different from any museum I've ever seen. You know, we represent territorial Arizona because we were built around the territorial mansion built in 1865. The two-story territorial mansion is the crown jewel of our territorial history here in Prescott and across the state of Arizona. We all owe it to our founder, Charlotte Hall herself. Well, the museum is a log cabin, and you know, a mansion back in those days didn't have an infinity pool and an indoor bowling alley, <laughs> but it is incredible to get to walk inside. Most definitely, you know, that's the unique thing about territorial Arizona is that, you know, we don't have a marble structure. It isn't something big that you'd see on the East Coast. It really represents the pioneer spirit of Arizona and the early territorial governor's party that came here to establish the territory during the Civil War and it's, um, it's a showcase for our state and our state history. And you really feel like you're marinating in that frontier spirit because the mansion has always been located right here on your property. That's exactly right. When Charlotte Hall grew up here in Prescott and she helped save that mansion and so she actually lived in it for a while and the museum was founded in 1928 and built around that mansion. So she was also one of the first women in the West in the United States ever to serve at a territorial level in the she was our territorial historian before we were a state. So she really represents, you know, women in the West, the pioneer spirit that built the state, and also she had an eye to the future. We would not have this museum if it was not for her. And she brought some other structures, so that mansion has always been here, but I believe you have 11 other structures, and some of them were actually physically moved here. That's right. You know, we built a, a living history museum around that territorial mansion. The Fremont House, the Bashford House, both were moved here. They've been restored. They are inside. The, the exhibits represent what it was like to live here during that time period. And then we also have some historical historic structures nearby. Fort Misery was completely rebuilt here on campus. It's the oldest log cabin known of here in northern Arizona. We have a recreated ranch house similar to what Charlotte would have lived in. There's a recreated schoolhouse. Um, it really gives people an opportunity to understand what life was like here during um, the territorial years before we became a state in 1912. I'm glad you mentioned schoolhouse. I assume you get some field trip kids. Oh, we are a big place for education. We have summer camps and then all throughout the school year we have school, school children and their parents and their teachers come here to campus throughout the year. It's really what I believe one of the most important things we do is in education and an outreach to our communities to bring our history and heritage to the next generation. This isn't the type of museum where you come in, you walk around, you look at some stuff on the walls, your legs hurt, your kids ask when are we leaving? <laughs> it's very interactive. It really is and that's the one thing is that there's something here for everybody. I love watching the grandparents with their grandchildren, moms and dads with their kids and then as they just explore the, the explore the museum, they can find something that really interests them. Like we're here today in an exhibit of Charlotte Hall and her life, but if you're outside, you're walking through the gardens, you're walking through um, one of the most unique rose gardens in the West, um, and then you can walk through history, um, building to building, and learn and understand all the different people that lived here before uh, Europeans and Americans arrived, and then all the way up to the present. You get a good understanding of what life was like in Arizona um, going back a couple thousand years. You mentioned the garden. That is one of the most extraordinary rose gardens I've ever seen. Tell me about that. Well, every rose that's planted there is dedicated to a territorial or pioneer Arizona woman. Um, we have an exhibit where you can go and read about each of the women that um, uh, are represent each rose bush and I would say that our arboretum and our rose garden um, rivals anything in California or Oregon. It's If you're into roses, our rose garden is one of the premier um, 
rose gardens in the American West. It's really, um, and our, our team here that takes care of our gardens, I believe are some of the best in the state. Well, Stuart, thank you so much oh, for this welcome, tour Tristan. of your beautiful museum. Thank you very much. I hope everyone comes up here soon and, and spend some time here enjoying our exhibits and uh, our education and our programs and our special uh, events throughout the year. Is there a website people can visit? They sure can, charlottehallmuseum.org, and they can keep up with it. And uh, if they become members, they'll get special announcements on a regular basis on all the great things happening here at Charlotte Hall Museum. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by Charlotte Hall Museum.